Hey, welcome back! Guess what? Heart Lake City has a brand new hospital! So we have seen, this is the third hospital, well, I think it's like an upgrade of the previous one because it's a similar sort of design. So we had our first hospital in 2017 and then another one which was slightly more underwhelming in 2020. I feel as though this one's going to be like uh, a, a great mix of those previous two plus hopefully bringing some new elements into play. It's very exciting. There's a lift! Look at for the character who's in the hospital gown. Oh, my heart. Okay, so we got, okay, so let's crack it open and look, first up, we should look at the details. So there are 1,045 pieces in this, there are, it's $150 here in Australia, 110 in the US, there are nine bags, and in here are, once we <laughs> get all these bits open, there are two instruction books, look at that, it's a little tiny skinny one just for the helicopter, a big nice sheet of stickers to add all the details. Right, let's have a look at the characters, because this is my favorite part. First up we've got Autumn. Now Autumn is wearing a brand new top that we also see in the vet clinic which I haven't built yet. It's really cute. I love it. There's no printing on the back which seems to be the thing with the torso mold for her uh, limb difference. So yeah. Okay so such a cute shirt. So it's a little tie front and it's got sunflowers on. She's wearing a little necklace. Her face print and her hair as we've seen Autumn before but she does have an alternate expression in this set because there's something special about to happen to Autumn for autumn I don't know which way you put that but let's try this on it's so nice to have the be able to go I mean she looks shocked uh, I don't know whether it's a good thing that's gonna happen to her I don't know that she looks particularly happy so I don't know let's find out as we go along so next character is a brand new secondary character her name is Alicia she is a doctor she has got on a uh, dark azure scrub she's got on the doctor's like surgical coat the surgical gloves as well I love the detailing on this she's even to the point got the little tie on the scrubs at the front you can see just on her torso the detail in the print is just incredible got a brand new face print. Uh, her skin tone is reddish brown. I can't remember whether I said that or not so but it's always I'm trying to match up skin tones now it's getting harder and harder and her hair is the one that we saw before on the mum in wish and Sakina's hair. Sakina yeah love this hair piece so much and it's up and out of her way. It's such a gorgeously detailed mini doll. I love her so much. All right next up we've got we've got Autumn's mum Mia wearing pants we've seen before. Oh where have we seen these before? On G1 Andrea's husband in Andrea's mansion. So I, th I think that Mia might have uh, borrowed his pants and forgotten to give them back. I don't know that they match her outfit very well but that's fine. They're probably the only thing that wasn't in the dirty washing hamper this morning when she rushed to get dressed to get out to this appointment because it's a very important appointment because today Autumn gets a prosthetic hand. She's going to, oh my gosh, she's going to be able to do so much with this, including be the very first mini doll who has articulation at not quite the wrist, a little bit above the wrist, but we're going to be able to turn her hand so that she's going to be able to hold things in a different direction to all the other mini dolls. She's like got superpowers now. This is really cool. This is such a cool addition. I'm not sure from her from her expression that she's terribly thrilled but I would assume that she has asked for this. I mean it's not the sort of thing that you'd go into getting a prosthetic limb done without really wanting it to happen. So the facial expression kind of baffles me a bit but I love to have different facial expressions anyway so you know she can be in two minds about it. That's fine. We are all multifaceted. Next character is Brendan. Brendan is wearing scrubs too. A slightly different yeah different shade on the bottom to Alicia's. I don't know whether Brendan is a an orderly or a nurse. I don't think it matters. He can be whatever you want him to be. But the fact he's wearing scrubs is really cool. He's got the light nougat skin tone. His face print is, I think, a new one. I love his hair so much. It's just, it's one of my favorite tousled hair pieces <laughs> to use for guys. Very cute. And this is my favorite bit of them all. This brand new character is wearing a hospital gown, hospital slippers. I don't know if you can see because my lights are so bright, but on her um, light aquas skirt, <laughs> she, they're little white dots like you have on hospital gowns. And her top also obviously matches because, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's wearing a hospital gown. I love this so much. Uh, oh, hold on, her, her butt's not hanging out the back. This is obviously not a real hospital gown because it's got too much coverage at the back. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, so this character, her name is Mary Joy. Mary Joy? Yeah, Mary Joy. No, yes, no, hold on. Yep, Mary Joy. Her skin tone is nougat. Her face print is the same as deer. 
uh, from the Sea Rescue set and from the, um, the, 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 the amusement park set that we just got last year. But she is here because she is about to give birth, or she has just given birth, sorry. When she arrives, she's probably about to give birth. So obviously, wouldn't that make sense? Hold on, now I'm getting confused. So we've got a brand new color scheme for the little baby character, and she's not just had one, she's got twins. Poor thing, she's not gonna know what hit her. I mean, congratulations, but you will never sleep again. So these twins' names are Jason and Imam. They're obviously identical twin boys. Oh my goodness. I just love it so much. These characters are just fantastic. I mean, look at all of the, uh, look at the diversity. Look at the detail in the scrubs, the detail in the hospital gown. I just love it so much. All right, bag number one is the one Brendan comes in and he also comes with a dog. There's a doggo and the doggo is here. The doggo's name is Rocky and it's a therapy dog. Aww. I just love the addition of a therapy dog. I think, I mean, it's just a fabulous thing to have at a hospital is some, yeah, animals for uh, so calming and healing. Okay, so Brendan has got his, his phone and he has got a medical kit because he is in charge of the, oh, hold on. I thought we were going to build a helicopter. I was wrong. He's in, uh, is he in charge of this? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. So we've got arms. We've got two yellow arms. It's obviously not a helicopter unless helicopters uh, suddenly... Uh, having arms as part of their <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going <laughs> that would just be the strangest thing ever oh no you know no shade on helicopters but I don't think that they need arms this is a robot I do not know there's obviously going to be a story with this robot I would I would love it if this was the robot that comes and serves me serves me my meal at the yum cha restaurant because just love the little serving robot robots they're so cute uh, even though they well I mean they help out but they do also put somebody out of a job so but look at this we got a little robot it's, it's like maybe it's the uh maybe it's the next generation of olivia's robot so far. but this okay so this oh this is so good so this robot is going to be helping out poor mary joy i shouldn't say poor congratulations mary joy but you've got two babies at once which is exhausting so she's got a robot helper i love that i love that <laughs> I want a robot helper. Oh. Okay, all right, I'll get back to building the helicopter. This is a helicopter. It does not have arms yet. Uh, we have got, now I want to build a helicopter with arms just simply so I can. So in the back, we've got a bandage. We've got a syringe. So some nice basic, basic first aid, first aid needs. <laughs> Heading out on your first aid course. What did you bring? A bandage and a syringe. Perfect. No. He's got a uh, actual, you know, first aid kit in his hand too. So, so he's a medic. He's a medic of some description. Brandon is. He's also got a helicopter license, which is a very handy thing to have. Very versatile, multifaceted. Uh, okay, so we're getting our helicopter together. We got a couple of stickers on the side, which are, are the emblem for the new Heart Lake City Hospital. I was going to say hotel, but it's not. It's a hospital. It's kind of like a hotel, but for medical needs, because you do stay there. It's nothing like a hotel. I don't even know why I said that. So we've got the emblem on either side. It's really nice. It's actually like a mix, like a mashup of the original, yeah, the original icon and the middle hospital. It's like, because it's the color scheme of that one, like the coral, but it's also got the little heartbeat thing through it too. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, we got some rotors on while I was busy <laughs> waxing lyrical about the actual iconography of the yeah the signage for the hospital. Right, we're up to bag number two. This is uh this is where we start meeting Mia and Autumn and starting to see what their story is in this set. So we're gonna take the prosthetic hand away just for the moment. Sorry, Autumn, we just gave it to you, but now we're taking it away just for some yeah some some storytelling because this is where they're first coming in. We don't even have the hospital ready to go yet. So let's get it ready for them to arrive. I hope I don't ruin the storytelling by getting all the characters out and introducing them at the beginning because there actually is a fantastic amount of integrated storytelling in the building with the instructions that the designers have actually planned. Oh my goodness, look at this, established 2012! Just like we have on the flower shop set because Lego Friends line was so established in 2012. I love that. I love all the details. I love the fact that we now have heritage and history for the Lego Friends line too. What was I saying? Oh yeah, there's a whole storytelling element actually built into the building instructions themselves. Then we got a dog, we got the doggo ball and a ball. <laughs> I'm going to get through my story eventually. Got a dog bed. Uh, because when you meet the particular characters at the beginning of the bag, you know that that bag has got to do with what their story is in the set. 
too. I hope that made some sense. So the fact that we've just had Mia and Autumn for this particular bag means that we're going to start learning about why they're here at the hospital because we're going to build that part. But we've also built this really cool little entryway and this like a whole little room for the dog for Rocky for Rocky the therapy puppy oh my gosh this was such an unexpected treat to have a pet in the hospital oh and oh and Rocky's got his own sign over his entryway so that nobody mistakenly yeah comes in there as the emergency entrance right bag number three we got a few spare parts nothing that we shouldn't have now we've got to ramp up to yeah, another entrance into, obviously not the dog entrance, into the hospital. So first up we get a couch. Couches are comfy. Couches are nice. Everyone loves couches because, you, well, you need to sit. There's, there's a lot of waiting that happens at a hospital. So we've got a little couch here, a little waiting room. This, we're going to be building on an angle. There's so much angled building so that the buildings aren't flat like flat face front in the Lego Friends line at the moment, which is really, really great. I, <laughs> I find it so hard to do on my own builds. I still just do very flat builds, but I'm trying to learn, trying so hard. doesn't matter. I can still build the way that I want, but it's cool to learn new stuff too. So we've got our doors. We've got um, everyone's lunches. That looks like there's their lunch boxes and lunch bags and a donut on the top of this little shelf. Something makes me think that this is not the waiting room for the patients. This is, oh, that's a triangle on a string. This this is actually the snack room, the break room for the for the employees, for the doctor, for the doctor and the nurse and all yeah, all the employees. This is a toilet, little toilet. The triangle is is it a no, this bit's the flush. So is the triangle the the alert part? Here in Australia we have a little button if you need assistance in the bathroom. So I don't know what the pull bit is. Uh, maybe it's for help. Yeah, maybe it's for help getting up. Not sure, but it's obviously for assistance of some description. So we've got a microwave. In the microwave is a Sanger cheese sandwich. Yum, yum, yum. Might even be a cheese burrito. I don't know, <laughs> with the cheese melting out. It's taking up the whole microwave. At least it is not a tuna fish sandwich. Even though I love tuna, it's not a very good, uh, not a very good snack to have when you're in company and people don't like those smells. This is a locker. Oh my goodness. So I haven't got these on terribly straight, which is a real shame because oh, with straight lines, it, it bugs me even more. But look at this, this top locker, which I'm just going to try and straighten up a bit more. It's got a little sticky note reminder and a picture of Alicia's daughter, I think, or some, you know, a loved, a, a cherished child of Alicia. Could be her goddaughter, could be her niece. Inside, we've got some bubble gum. We have got an apple and I just love this. So the, yeah, this is the, this is the locker for the employees. So this is the employee lounge. It's the break room. We need to get, we need to get the patient out hopefully they get their own waiting room okay so Brendan is microwaving his lunch it's all nice and warm and gooey delicious uh Alicia is having a little bit of a rest on the couch of goodness now we're working on the outside oh you have to do your little swipe tappy card to be able to get into here because got an external entrance which is often the way because sometimes it's uh, hospitals can are not generally like one big flat thing so often there's a little maybe a, an outside area Poor Alicia, she's so tired, she's having a rest. I actually need a little rest, a little restroom too, a little lying down room. This is what we got at the end of this bag. Bag number four. Uh, this is the one that Alicia comes in. So let's see, let's see what part of this build is specifically for for her. Because I'm curious as to whether she's a specialist or a surgeon, a obstetrician, maybe. Maybe she's here for Mary Joy. Maybe she's here as the specialist for the prosthetic arm. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So this curved transparent piece is new this year. It's only actually available in other space sets. So having it in the hospital is something completely different. I love it. it's got a rounded, a rounded top. These are your hand washing stuffsies for the bathroom and I think maybe, yeah, hand washing dispensary stuff. This is our door to the bathroom. Oh, you've got the little must wash your hands for 30 seconds to make sure, actually, enough for two minutes. I don't know. I didn't pay. I obviously haven't been reading them. <laughs> there was, yeah. Right. That's a really, these are really great signages. Love it. You can just sit a mini doll on the toilet in there they kind of get pushed forward because of that little back on it but anyway in here we have got some bandages and some scissors on the top we have got a keyboard and a computer so it looks like this is a little doctor's surgery of some sort uh this is cool it could go straight to the toilet 
Oh, okay, so we've got an x-ray of a forearm and a hand up here on the computer screen. Uh, we get, so maybe she is, maybe she's a radiology specialist. So she's, she's here for taking the x-rays, getting all of the imaging happening. I mean, I don't, I don't need to pigeonhole Dr. Alicia into anything. She can be here doing whatever it is that you wanted to do. She can actually be, yeah, she, she could have so many roles in this hospital as really great the storytelling opportunities oh that needs to go back a bit the storytelling opportunities for this set are massive okay we have got an x-ray of a thoracic cavity uh and we have got another x-ray here of a foot a foot <laughs> also known as a foot let's put them away over here oh that's so good <laughs> okay so yes definitely here this is the x-ray section and she has got an x-ray table Oh, this is so cool. So that moves across so you can slide across. We've got a stretch that moves across so you can slide across. I'm so brilliant. And this is the little bit that's going to go over the top for the actual imaging tab. And we got a little bippity boppity doodly thing at the top to make it all go. And it's on a little bit of an angle, which is cool too. We'll get Autumn on here for a bit of imaging because I would assume that you need to do that before you can get fitted for a prosthetic arm. Nice work. So we've got an x-ray room. Actually, I think that the Lego City Hospital, uh, like the city version one, also had an x-ray room. I feel like I want to, I mean, <laughs> for the very first hospital, I did a nice big upgrade for it. I really enjoyed that. I might try upgrading this too because it's filled with details but I want I want more I always want more but I love it as it currently is there's so much happening in here okay end of this bag we're up to bag number five got a good decent amount of spare parts this bag we get a wheelchair and we are going to be wheeling Mary Joy in ready for her to have her babies it's a shame that they can't figure out how to do a pregnant tummy but I mean she could be coming in here for anything the fact that we have a patient in a hospital gown is so good I love it so much oh we've got an award for Rocky the best boy look <laughs> that's adorable he's got an award maybe he's even a certified dog doctor uh, now that's just nuts so let's put this over here we've got some more so expanding our our footprint of this whole area out. This is another little tabley thing. We've got a coffee cup, another monitor. Oh my god, there's somebody's playing. <laughs> Whoever's here has got in the background the, a little chicken, crossy road, froggy, no, frogger, kind of, yeah. They're playing a game <laughs> in between booking in appointments because this is the main entryway. We've got big double doors, got the ramp up so that it is wheelchair friendly or you can just ride your skateboard straight in because if you're riding a skateboard, you're going to be uh, spending some time at the hospital anyway. This is a nice big, just colourful sticker. It is not straight. I'm not even going to look at it again. Big colourful sticker for the waiting room. Oh, the waiting room's also got a little tiny weenie idea of a gift shop with, with a chocolate shelf. <laughs> some chocolate and some flowers I mean all you need is an idea I want some balloons and a teddy bear but once again I think I might just have to add to this <laughs> I just I love that the idea of a gift shop is here though in the entryway okay off to the side we've got oh, the picture had a had a lift in it right so we're going to be making a lift off to the side which is really good because wheelchairs and obviously there are lifts to go everywhere in a hospital so very very handy got to be able to get all the people in the gurneys around places oh this is so good <laughs> okay whole heap of substantial structural work going on up the top these are cool these like sideways i don't even know what they're called like uh brackets two by two by one they're really cool and useful for building out sideways that's going to make a nice yeah, long window along the top. This is, I think, a bit taller than the rooms normally are in a Lego Friends build. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'd have to have a look. But I like the fact that we've got a bit of window at the top just to add some nice light in rather than it being this dark, dank, dismal place. That was a lot of Ds, but I did okay with my alliteration. It didn't break me today. Uh, early one alliteration nil <laughs> until next time <laughs> okay shouldn't get too cocky okay we can get this wheelchair in can we 
I'm struggling to get it in. <laughs> there we go. No, it does definitely go in. It's just about <laughs> it rolls back out again. Maybe if I shut the door, it'll be fine. This is what we've got so far. Looks great. We've got some spare pieces. We even have a spare wheel for the wheelchair, just in case you blow out a tire doing the wheelies in the wheelchair. That's why it's called a wheelchair, because you do wheelies in it. That doesn't make any sense. Is wheelies even a thing that people do anymore? I used to do it all the time on BMX bikes in the 80s. Was that just an Australian thing? I just don't know. <laughs> Culturally, I don't know what actually, yeah, what actually goes across. I'm getting this wrong because I'm getting tired. So it, these are just the flower boxes for the second story. They're exactly the same as the one down the bottom and yet struggling. This goes up here. Yeah. Okay. Now I've got it. <laughs> Definitely. When you start getting so tired that you're getting basic stuff wrong, it's time to step away and have a bit of a break. Have a cup of tea and a lie down, but I'm, I'm going to finish this bag first. So let's make sure we do that. So this is a little section off the side where we're going to have our lift. We've got a ramp up to it, which is very smart because if we don't have a ramp, we cannot get the wheelie things in. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So we've got our turny bit, which is going to nice substantial turny bit back there, the screw bit. Now, this bit is the actual lift. Interesting use of that little bit that I normally would only use for grass. It's so cool to have, yeah, to use different pieces in different, different circumstances. It's just Lego is so interesting. Okay, this is the top part of our screw bit. So this lift's gonna go up to the second level. We got Brendan up here waiting, waiting for us to finish so that he can take the wheelchair from us and wheel her into, into the maternity ward. Right, so up we go, let's, yeah, let's just finish this lift before I play with it too much. Otherwise, there's going to be some casualties. Oh, but I want to play with it. Okay, no, I'll get all the structural stuff in. We've got this big technique bit, which gives us some, yeah, some sturdy structure at the back. Okay, come on, Mary Joy, in you come. You'll be our first passenger. Up you go through, well, <laughs> through here. If she didn't need a hospital before, she needs one now. We are up to bag number seven. This is where we're going to take a break for today because I'm very keen, obviously, Obviously, we need somewhere for Mary Jo to have her babies, and that's what's going to be up here on the second level. So, yeah, starting to make mistakes, so we're going to leave the rest of the build for the next video. So, do all the things, subscribe, click back in, notifications, I can't remember what order I'm supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do now anyway. But check back in because Mary Jo's going to have those babies, and we're going to build what she needs. All right, see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.